If you're like me before I made this video, you probably think Heat Seeker is a cute little Rocket League game mode where you hit the ball back and forth while camping in your net until the ball gets too fast for you and you give up a goal. Then one guy repeatedly demos you and in response you type some unhinged essay vowing never to play this game mode again. Well that might be how you play Heat Seeker, but what if I told you it actually goes way, way deeper than that? And everything you know about this crazy little LTM is wrong. The version of Heat Seeker that you and I play is like the equivalent of a bunch of silvers thinking they understand what it's like to compete in RLCS. There is a group of the most hardcore and passionate competitive Heat Seeker players in the world perfecting this mode every day, and they all come together to do it in this Discord. I am the last surviving Heat Seeker viewer attorney guy. That's the leader and founder of this community, Booster Gold. And today, he's gonna blow my mind by one, showing me what this community can do, and two, audaciously challenging a full RLCS team against three of his best Heat Seekers, or Heat Seekers, I guess. What happened in said challenge had my jaw on the floor, but we'll get to that in just a second. First, I had like 50 questions for him after he showed me some of the clips his community was hitting on the regular. It was 1v1s back in the day. We started uh, evolving. We had one guy that came in, uh, Chris O, and he started playing the midfield. This man is at a supersonic speed ball playing the midfield in a heat seeker 1v1. <laughs> like the, the ball doesn't stop at the midfield. And it kind of just, it changed our whole sweaty way of it. And then we ended up evolving to uh, 2v2 and then to, to 3v3. 3, 3v3 is the, the absolute meta because there's so much more that you can do with passing and team plays and stuff. And it's funny because you get people that come in and they're like, oh, Heat Seeker can't help, blah, 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 blah. There's levels to it. Like it helps with your, your ball reads. If you can read a Heat Seeker ball, you can read a soccer ball. And if you can't, you know, beat somebody to a Heat Seeker ball, then you got to pick up on your speed. Like there's uh, 10 or 15 in a scrim chat that literally hold private scrims with each other every single night. That's awesome. Our ultimate goal is, is to at least get a ranked playlist, you know, full time or at least a daily tournament. Oh, I'm not reaching this lid. Oh, no. okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so do you think the best heat seeker players you could field could be a pro team that, that doesn't play heat seeker? Absolutely. Now Booster Gold really had my attention. I wasn't sure if he was overly confident or if his community really could take down a pro team in Heatseeker. The last time I tried a matchup like that, the best Rumble players lost to a pro duo of Chicago and Beast Mode. And unfortunately, it wasn't very close. I wasn't planning on it, but now I knew I needed to get a full team of pros to see how they would stack up against the best team Booster Gold could come up with. I asked Gyro, Sosa, and Cheese from the pro team Koi to challenge the Heatseekers. My timing couldn't have been better because on the day of the challenge, they were coming off an insane run in the Gamers Without Borders tournament, in which they took down G2 and went all the way to the grand finals, finishing second. Booster Gold was telling me that you guys are really, really confident, and that's actually what got me going about getting the pros yeah. in the first place. As long as we're not playing Shawkar, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> all right, pros versus, what's what should we call the best Heatseeker team that you have fielded here? I call them Heatseeker pros. The Heatseeker pros, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. I was just gonna say the Heatseekers. Well, then it have to be Heatseekerers. <laughs> You're right. right. Heatseekerers versus regular pros who just actually got out of the grand final of a charity tournament. So they're warm, but the Heatseeker pros are always warm. We are the ones who seek the heat. It's just a matter of time if, if they could just slow the onslaught. Oh my God. This is insane. A pass play in heat, heat Seeker just seems wrong. At least from my perspective, it seems impossible. Oh, look at them doing the, that's like kind of a noob of kickoff, isn't it? But some would say it seems so right though. <laughs> I do love it. Oh my God. What is he doing? Wait, do you have, uh, do you have names for certain mechanics? Not exactly. I mean, you could you could still get a flip reset on a heat seeker ball. Uh, the only term we have is the jaw shot, and it's pretty much the easiest shot that anybody could ever make in the heat seeker game. The jaw Going, shot. Yeah, literally, this guy coined the shot after himself because he he thought nobody could defend it, and still until people got better. Okay. And so we just we let them have it. Oh, that's another goal for the heat seekers. You know, it's fast when the like the professional Rocket League players can't save it. And no, that's not even max speed. It's gonna take almost a minute to get the ball up to max speed as well. And that'll be interesting. It takes a minute? About, it's like 50 seconds, depending how many touches there are. So it's like, it averages around 50 seconds. Right. Oh my God. So, so with a little bit of an own goal there. I bet that happens in Heatseeker a lot. 
Um, we we kind of uh, made a clip channel of like own goals, impressive own goals, because they're sometimes more impressive than the actual real goals themselves. So it's 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 different. You know, any community that embraces own goals is one that I would fit in. in. This is just Bramble, just playing the game. Like, yeah, I'm gonna hit that around you, and it's in your net. You know, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I was a little skeptical when you said, oh, yeah, they can easily be pros. I didn't believe. Listen, I had to see it with my own eyes. I may be old, but some call me wise. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, it's just, it's too different of the game. Oh, I was like, my. what is this? I mean, these are just, ba to you, this is just a basic shot. But to me, oh, yeah. this, is, this is cool. They're going for demos. The pros have resorted to cringe. And it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, no. It just is <laughs> impossible. The Heat Seeker pros had destroyed the regular pros, seven to zero. And why is the scoreboard blinking like this? I thought for sure the pros would just be like, all right, we're done. But their competitive spirit kicked in and they asked for one more game. I love that Koi asked for one more game. It's almost like they were fascinated by how good your heat seekers are. We love the competitive mindset and we, we appreciate that as well. Cause like anybody that can appreciate what we do, like we want to appreciate what they do too. Tell me about, uh, I know when we were messing around, I, was, I asked you like what your ideal vision for Heat Seeker would be. So what is it? So, I mean, the, the goal is absolutely trying to get our own playlist. Oh my God. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh that goes that train of thought. Seeing what the skill ceiling could actually be if an actual pro played it. Cause you know, we're not pros. These guys are SSLs, you know, high GCs, that kind of stuff. We just, they got way too many hours. And I like, I would be curious if a pro actually came in and challenged the skill ceiling and brought it up even higher. A pro wants a playlist to grind, you know? So I think that's the first step. We need Heat Seeker. We need ranked Heat Seeker. Or, or the other idea, I mean, we could have seasonal playlists. I mean, there's some other yes. playlists out there that got bad population, you know, for reasons because they've been out so long. You know, we swap some in and out occasionally. You know, we could do the whole seasonal thing, you know, yeah. hoops, in the, hoops in the springtime, Heat Seeker in the summer, Gridiron in the fall, which is nobody's going to play that because it's Gridiron. But then, you know, keep hockey in the wintertime. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Sosa unfortunately hasn't touched the ball yet, but it's Heat Seeker. I mean, it's tough. Is he still sitting at zero? <laughs> it's... Oh my God. You guys kind of said the 3v3 became really the meta. The most competitive Heat Seeker guys preferred 3v3. For competition's sake, just because there's so much more you can do with it with passes. And I mean, you know, RLCS is kind of the stepping stone for it because RLCS is 3v3. Man, it's getting fast. Are we approaching max speed? I'd say 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Guess oh, this is getting crazy. This is actually, I th I'm not gonna lie. This is, uh, this is super entertaining. This is, I was gonna say it's more entertaining than playing Heat Seeker. Oh Ooh. my God. It just has a natural buildup, you know? Oh my God. Well, Sosa got to touch the ball there. Yeah, he's not on zero points anymore. And he scored a goal, but unfortunately for the wrong side. Thankfully that's, Accepted and even admired in the Heat Seeker community. <laughs> oh, Cheese scores the first goal for the pros. <laughs> and the quick chats come out for that one. Oh, wow. I think it's time for the Heat Seeker boys to hang it up after that one. Yeah, you might as well retire there. What are some, what's, what's the, oh, I can't even get my question out. What's like you, one of your favorite moments from uh, from being the godfather of the community? Like having been there since the beginning. We do have our own, you know, this is this is Rocket League, AKA this is Heat Seeker type of moment. And that looks like it's gonna be it. Ooh. Oh! oh, holy shit. No limit puts it and ties it up at zero, what zero. The absolutely insane it's, it's like it was yesterday because we we had people immediately right after it ended go into the replay the screenshot zoom in see exactly how close the ball was to the ground heat seeker ball is different because it's going so fast you can go past the goal line and it'll it'll sometimes have the whole ball in the net at zero seconds and the goal won't count the game has created something it cannot contain thanks thanks psionics they made it too fast like, there's nobody's gonna be playing this to play this the, the ball is gonna go way too fast yeah, jokes on you guys. We're gonna see if we can break it. But that is one of the best things about Rocket League. You get like niche communities like this that find their favorite part of the game and then just get so good at it. I was holding my oh breath. My. <laughs> They're getting more powerful. Oh my. And Taz just straight <laughs> off the backboard. I, I'm like in tears. That was that was a ridiculous sequence. They're taking turns. <laughs> Gyro says, are we running? Sock our after. Gyro's like, okay. 
Let, let's let's go back to vanilla after this. <laughs> Koi just got done making a incredible run in the Gamers Without Borders tournaments. They took down G2, lost to V1 in the finals, and now they have to come in here and watch these Heat Seeker players just dominate. We're almost at our time limit. They've definitely defended better this time. <laughs> <laughs> what? We call that the caster curse. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. You've completely opened my mind. I thought I knew what this video would be. That exceeded my expectations. Like that was that was awesome. The kids set the bar one day and they just keep raising it continuously day after day. I love that. Oh, do you want to shout anything out? Like, do you have anything to shout out? Now come check us out. Heat Seeker have a discord.gg slash Heat Seeker. Come get your, your heat on. Nah, for real. Uh, We've been doing this for two to three years now. And just when it seems like there there's no light at the end of the tunnel, somebody like Sunless comes along. And, you know, we, we're reminded every single day that the things that me and the boys do are, are actually impressive. And you know, we try not to put it by the wayside. We love you guys. And we appreciate you. Where do you want them to go? But you can come check us out at discord.gg slash heatseeker. As long as you're willing to learn and you're willing to get better, we'll be sitting there waiting for you guys. Yes, seek the heat, seek the heat.